guys welcome to warframe review and today we're going to be taking a look at chroma chroma is the defensive dragon tank in warframe specializing in soaking up damage defending a point and dishing it back out released back in update 16 chroma is a master of all elements being able to switch between them depending on his energy color chroma can be acquired from the new strange quest or in the market for 375 plat Chroma currently doesn't have a prime variant, but we're praying he comes sometime in the next decade. I mean, um, sometime in 2018. Yeah, yeah, sometime in 2018, that's what I meant. Please, DD. Anyways, on to his abilities. His first ability, Spectral Scream, releases a stream of elemental energy from his mouth, because, you know, dragons. Depending on your element, he will breathe fire, ice, toxin, or electricity, dealing 200 damage per second, which is the equivalent of nothing at high level, to a target. It has a 60% status chance, and is pretty decent against trash mobs, a single target, or low level enemies, but as mentioned before, isn't so great at high level and more than likely will get you killed. Spectral Scream is affected by power strength, efficiency, and range mods. Although range mods didn't look like it increased from my testing, I'm not really sure about that. That might just be me, but hey, just making that noted. His second ability, Elemental Ward, releases an area of effect or a defensive buff to him or his teammates depending on his element. Toxin and Fire make a ring of offensive energy, while Electricity and Ice creates an aura around you that buffs you defensively. Each element has their own set of buffs, and the buffs are as follows. Fire boosts your health, Toxin boosts your reload speed, Electricity boosts your shields, and Ice boosts your armor. The aura does 100 damage per second to enemies and has a 10% chance to proc a status effect. Elemental Ward is affected by power strength, efficiency, duration, and range mods. Although, yet again, the range doesn't appear to be increased or decreased from my testing. I mean, come on, DE, this guy was released back in update 16. It's update 22.8. You would at least have his range mods working by now. <clears throat> his third ability, Vex Armor, increases your armor and damage depending on what's hit. This is essentially the bread and butter of Chroma. When shields take damage, you get an armor increase. This buff is known as Scorn. When health takes damage, you get, well, a damage increase. This is known as Fury. Vex Armor is affected by power strength, efficiency, and duration mods. His final ability, Effigy, deploys a... Skin turret? To destroy nearby enemies. As Chroma sheds his skin, he becomes slightly faster and he also gains double the amount of credits because the Hobbit and Dragons. The Skin Sentry, for lack of a better name, has 8,000 health on base and deals 400 damage per second, when an enemy is close to it, that is. The downside to this is Chroma loses 50% of his armor and can die faster in this mode. Effigy is affected by range, power strength, efficiency, and duration mods. Chroma also has four syndicate augments, which I will be showing on screen now, that improve upon his abilities. So, how would you mod up Chroma? I recommend building to your own playstyle, since that way you'll have more fun with the frame, but I have my build up on the screen as an example. For me, I like to play very aggressively with Chroma, so I use lots of duration and power strength for his second and third abilities. I also have an effigy build for if I'm defending a point or farming. Overall, Chroma is a great frame who can be built any kind of way. It's no wonder he has a strong following in the community and is considered top tier and great for endgame. I just wonder why there isn't a Prime yet. I mean, a ton of Tenogen items for him yet. Yeah, that's what I meant. A ton of Tenogen items. Check back for more Warframe review, and remember, ninjas play free.